everyone. Welcome to another review with Joseph Nicholas from Mini Tabletop. Today I'm reviewing the hare and the tortoise. This is a racing game by Aiello Games. And I want to say it's almost flawless. I mean, it's a game that I've... And by the way, lately I've been reviewing a lot of games that I bring to Board Game Night fairly often. This is one of them. And because it's so accessible, it's so easy to learn... And it's just really thrilling, really exciting. Uh, racing games, for some reason, have that like momentum when people are playing it. People are always just like on edge, like, oh man, who's going to win? Almost like gambling. So if you can give me a moment, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I don't know. Now this is the hare and the tortoise. Uh, I set it up in a way that you can hopefully see it. I know it doesn't really work too well because some of the cards are broken as if they just had an earthquake, but hey, it's okay. It's my review, I can do what I want. Um, mechanics are simple. You are gonna have a hand of seven cards and you will be choosing one of those cards to be one of the players that you want to win. You will also be handed one of these um, Dragon Ball looking cards that is also a player that you want to win. It has one of each character, so you'll have two opportunities to win. With the remaining six cards on your turn, you will be playing one type of animal, but as many cards as you can, up to four, if you so desire, in order to make them move. And they move off this chart. So, for example, um, I want my turtle to go. So I play four of a turtle. That stops the round and the turtle moves. And in this case he moves two because he has all four. Now let's say second round starts and there's uh, three of us, three of us in the game. Okay, so here's our winning cards, which you choose. You choose the winning cards, but in this case I'm not gonna have anyone choose because I'm a mean person like that. And um, so player, player one, that's me. So I'm gonna go again, I'm gonna play down two turtles because I really want him to win. Uh, player two goes, player two plays one fox card. Player three goes and you know he has a sheep as the star card. So he plays two sheep. I go again. I also have the hair in my game. So I'm gonna put one hair down because I only have one hair in my hand. Uh, player two's gonna go, he plays two wolves. So as soon as he plays the wolf cards, that starts the round and the reason being is because there's eight cards out. So you could trigger around either by playing eight cards, by playing eight cards, or by playing four of a kind. So now we, we start the race, and again, it's going to be in order of what your reference card says. So the rabbit goes first, and he moves one, or two. He moves two for having one card out. The turtle has two cards, he moves once. The wolf has two cards out, he moves once. The fox also moves once, and the sheep moves three times however because there is a river here he has to stop at the river to take a drink of water so now this is where we're at this is our standing uh, you continue this until three people have won and then you calculate it at the end it's a very simple game not complicated at all the replay of the learning curve is one of the lowest I've ever seen I mean this is a game that is available for anybody over the age of seven so you can expect it to be easy. I mean, if you're looking for a racing game that isn't too complicated, like Formula D or whatever, uh, I would definitely recommend this. Especially if you know if you're deciding between this and Camel Up, this has a little more interaction uh, and a little more development of characters. While Camel Up is kind of just like all luck of the draw, it's almost like you're just watching a race happen, which is the point. Uh, but this is something that you are actually interacting with, and I really enjoy it. I would say that I've played this with every group size. Um, two players is fun, three players is fun, four. The reason being is because you're still watching all these characters race. I mean, it's the exact same game. It's just a matter of how many people are watching the same race as you. I really like that. The components are fantastic. I mean, this is really hard cardboard stock, um, really high quality 3D figures, and of course, the meeples are really nice. They have the stickers and such. Honestly, I wish there was like an expansion that would eventually come out. I wouldn't mind having more characters in the game or maybe like new variants. Uh, they have one variant that isn't too great because it just kind of 
bounces everyone out to the exact same style where they just move based off cards, uh, which is not something I was really a big fan of. Uh, another game like this is, like I stated earlier, if you want a racing game, I would go to Formula D or I would go to Camelot. They're both really fun, and they're also the two racing games that I've played, other than this. <laughs> um, and replayability is definitely in this one is another title I bring to every single game because it's so accessible and so easy to play. Uh, again, this is the Hare and the Tortoise. Let me use my awesome, well this time it's a stand, it's no longer going to be a weight, so that's my awesome stand. Again, the Hare and the Tortoise, recommendation is on this one.